Or you're like, just give me a second to organize my desktop. <laughs> hey there, welcome to Chat with Engineering. My name is Vinod Zachari. I'm your host today as we chat with various members of Flowcast Engineering to understand what they do and um, get to know them. So today's episode is with Jessica Perina, a software engineer at Flowcast. Hey, Jess. Hey, Vinod. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, how are you doing? I've had like half a can of Monster, so it's just going to go higher and higher at this point. I'm I'm one small cup of green tea in, so I'll see if I can match you. Is green tea, does that like get your energy going or? Eh? I'm, I'm not a coffee or like energy drinker, so that I kind of limit myself, but there's this like really good cold green tea that is, at least to me, like rocket fuel, so. Can you get that feeling with one, like one green tea you're like set for the day or? Yes. Like if, if I, it depends on how much I drink. I'm, I only had like a very small glass of it, but if I were to drink like an actual bottle that it comes in, like, yes, that would be good for a long time. (laughs) So do you have a cutoff? Yeah. I buy it in larger bottles and then I drink smaller amounts of it. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's amazing. We were just talking about like mass quantities of food. Like, and so yours is green tea, right? Like you just have to like ration yourself Mm -hmm. so that you can actually sleep that night. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. Um, Jess, um, tell me a little bit about what you do at Flowcast. Um, So I'm a software engineer at Flowcast. I'm an SE3. I've been here for just a little over two years. Um, And I had been working on a team that handles, uh, you know, kind of setup but I actually just moved to a new team a couple weeks ago. Nice. Um, what was that like moving to a new team? Was that terrifying? Was that cool, exciting, all of the above? Um, it was It was definitely uh, exciting. It happened fast. Uh, I was given an opportunity by my manager. They said, you know, they're spinning up a new team and they were curious if I would be interested to join, kind of gave me an overview of uh, what the the product and like the responsibility space would be. Uh, then I set up a meeting with the PM for that team and the engineering manager because those were already there. Talked yeah. to them about their vision, and I thought they had a really clear idea of what they wanted to accomplish and how we were going to get there. And I I was psyched uh, to join. There's been there's been a, quite a bit of change at Flowcast since the time I've been here. Uh, yeah. And at first. Being the kind of person that naturally doesn't love change, uh-huh. I was trepidatious, um, yeah. you know, because oh, like nice. we we build teams up, we split them apart. We, you know, kind of, I think, you know, kind of like like team mitosis, you know, like you're going to build yeah. up a team then it's going to be two teams. And, and that's kind of how we've found a good way to grow while still maintaining like our culture. Yeah. Um, and after having gone through that a couple of times, I was nervous at first, but each time it actually turned out to be pretty great. Yeah. So when this opportunity was brought to me, I was like, all right, my my experience has been that change is decent at Flowcast. So yeah. let me try this because I'm I'm actually excited now. So what were the things the first time through that you were sort of like, oh, I don't know about this? And then little by little, each time forward has sort of resolved yeah. into now you're excited. Um, so the first time uh, I was on a team called Triton and there yeah. were three of us and we were really excited to get like finally get a fourth member because uh, when I had come on, there had been four members uh, and then one member, you know, super smart guy. We needed him on another team doing machine learning. So there were three of us. And we kind of settled into that. Uh, and then they're like, all right, you're going to get a fourth person and they're a senior engineer. And we were so excited. And uh, Joe joined our team. And then like a week later, they're like, we're splitting you into two teams. Now it's going to be two teams of two people. And I was just like, what? What? <laughs> like we just, what are we going to, we just got this guy. And I was a little, I was trepidatious. Yeah. Um, but it actually, it ended up working out really well. Um, you know, we were still productive. I work well on a two person team. And then each of those teams started to slowly add more members. Now we got, then we got three people and, uh, we were at three people when I shifted off to this new team. Nice. Nice. Um, and, uh, what were the things that like, you know, before you came to Flowcast, what were you doing? And then how did you end up at Flowcast? Oh, all right. Uh, so before I came to Flowcast, I was working uh, at a company making uh, like virtual reality entertainment products. So like you could watch a concert in VR, or watch a basketball game nice. in VR, like put your headset on. Um, yeah. And that was that was neat. The the commute was a little far for me, but um, I was doing back end programming in Golang and it was a great learning experience. That company um, 
had some restructuring. Uh, so they they had to, to move away from some of their employees. They ultimately got acquired. Um, and that is how I started looking at what I wanted to do next. Uh, and I knew that I wanted to be at a company where the customers love them and yeah. they built a product that uh, genuinely helped people save mm. time, money. Uh, and so like, I was not looking to work at an accounting company. <laughs> But as I started to let my like search lead me based more on like the kinds of products I wanted to build, I found yeah. Flowcast and they were a company whose customers absolutely love them and yeah. they save people, you know, hours, days off of, you know, tasks that used to keep them from their families and take them a really long time to complete. So I was like, this company actually like checks the boxes of what I want to be doing in terms of like bringing value to customers. Uh, and so yeah. I, I applied. I mean, what was your, like, you know, the interviews are interesting. It's like, it's always a two-way conversation, right? Uh, it's you interviewing the company just as much as the company interviewing you. Yeah. Uh, when you kind of came into it and went through the interview process, what was it that you're like, this feels right? Or uh, some okay. signals that you look for? Um, so I feel like the the way I've been able to explain it is just I kind of got the best vibe from Flowcast. And I understand that is a vibes. very not descriptive term, nice. but it was nice. really, it was, it was vibes. Um everyone <laughs> was very like open. Um I tend to ask questions, you know, more like I think I asked uh, one of the engineers that interviewed me like, hey, tell me about a time that you totally messed up and how yeah. and how did they handle it? Yeah. Um, you know, and he explained a story to me. Well, you know, he did a thing and created way too many calls to a certain API service and we started to get rate limited and, and he was like, and you know, we fixed it and it was fine. And I was like, okay. Um, I just, I got the best feelings about in terms of, you know, like, is this a collaborative place? Is this a place where you can learn in the open and ask what maybe you might consider to be stupid questions or where you can make a mistake and it's not going to be like held against you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, so that's something you can pick up in the, perhaps in the interview process. And then how did that manifest when you actually came, quote, into the building? Um, so when I, quote, came into the building, uh, it manifested first in just a lot of uh, help in getting started, sure. getting kind of set up. And also just in terms of learning what we do, how this whole process works, what accounting is, what the close is what that means um, and yeah. how I can start to kind of like contribute. Um, so it was a lot of just kind of getting to know people and people making themselves available to like chat. Yeah. Nice. And, and how about on the technical side? Like, so there's obviously the accounting business domain, right. That you have to get familiar with. Um, were you already familiar with a lot of the technical concepts or were there things that you had to figure out once you got here? So one of the other things I was looking for in my job search is I, I love Golang. It's a great language, um, but I absolutely wanted to be working in JavaScript. Uh, uh -huh. And so I was looking for a company that was working primarily in JavaScript. So that was another big selling point uh, for Flowcast for me. So I was very comfortable like with the language. Uh, we use React here, you know, with the frameworks. We use Mongo. I was using Mongo at my previous company. Um, so all of that stuff I felt pretty comfortable with. I mean, there's always that time... Anytime you start a new job or even within a job, if you start a new team and you're in a new code base, you have this kind of like overwhelmed feeling of like, I don't know where anything is. I'm going to have to, you know, figure all this out. You know, it can be right. a lot of files depending mm -hmm. on uh, on the repo you find yourself in. Uh, so that is always like a little daunting at first, but I think it's just a matter of like having the confidence that at some point you're going to look at this and know exactly where the thing you want to change is and how right. to do it, um, yeah. and just kind of diving in and slowly making yourself uh, more comfortable with the code base and being comfortable with the uncomfortable feeling of like not knowing everything yet. Yeah. And, and now you're the person on the other side, right? Uh, you have new people joining your team. Tell me what that's like being on the flip side of this. Um, I'm I'm excited for it. We've got some some new people actually literally starting today on my awesome. team, brand yeah. new to Flowcast. Um, so I'm excited just to reach out to them and let them know that I'm a resource and help kind of guide them for things that I think that might be helpful in their first week or so. Um, but then I'm 
going to try to just instill that like learning in the open. Cause like they're going to come to me for questions. Hopefully I have a lot of answers for them, but there's also a lot of stuff that I still don't know, or that I knew 12 months ago, but have forgotten. And I'm going to have to kind of relearn. And so I'm excited also just kind of like learn in the open with them and show them places they can find help and how you can just kind of blindly throw a question out to Slack and you'll get a lot of really great responses uh, from across the engineering department. Yeah, it's a cool uh, uh, learning out in the open, learning in public. It's a very like um, uh, valuable thing, but it's also like definitely in the the engineering sphere right now, right? Like that that style, and it, it's good to hear that like you're saying, hey, we can do the same internally as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, awesome. Um, all right, so I got to ask, what do you do outside of work? Uh, what are your hobbies? What are the things that you do when you're not helping other people learn in public? Uh, All right. So when I'm not uh, doing any sort of like, you know, work stuff, what do I like to do? I like to uh, rollerblade. I I reacquired that hobby recently. I was very into it as a kid and kind of fell off when I was in college. Yeah. I've been looking for a way to like get out during, you know, pandemic times and rollerblading has been a ton of fun. It's brought me to the beach, which I never go to, uh, (laughs) but it's the only like long, flat, uninterrupted place to skate. So I've been going over there. Um, I play a little drums. Yeah. Drums. I'm not like an expert on drums. There are, uh, are there certain types of drums that you specialize in or? I I have, I have an electric drum kit. Like if you put a conga drum in front of me, I wouldn't really know what to do. (laughs) Um, Right, 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 right. Like a snare drum or a drum kit. I can like mess around with that. Do you make music also? Have you gotten I've, like delved into that one? Cause usually there's this like, like, Oh, I started with this. And then I was like, Oh, now I'm making like beats and I'm making, you know, I like, while I've played instruments, like my whole life, I've never yeah. actually bothered to record any of my music. It's more just like learning to play the instrument and then playing along with like songs and things that I enjoy. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for chatting with me today. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll see you around. Awesome. It was nice talking to you, Vinesh. All right, bye. Bye.